Hey everybody, uh, today we are going to use the Circuit Playground Express to make our little uh, simulator here and well, a real one light up so that these lights go from uh, off to red sequentially and then they'll go from uh, red to blue sequentially in the reverse order. So um, I want to do that when I press the A button. So we're going to do an on button A, click, and then we're going to need a loop of some kind. So uh, for loop is going to be the one to do it. There's a total of 10 lights, so um, this is going to go from 0 to 9, or 10 iterations. And for each light, we're going to have them change color. So we go to the light one, put the pixel here. So pixel color at 0 will go to red, but I want to change that to um, index. So I'll go over here and put that in. So every time I press the button A, it's going to go from uh, it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then turn it red. But I want it you know, to look like it's doing it sequentially. So I'm going to put a small pause in afterwards. And let's see if that works. Look at that. It does. Cool. Let me take that out and um, do a part now where it's going to go backwards. So I'm going to do a new loop here. And same sort of thing. Have it go from 0 to 9. And I'm going to, again, use the light thing here to get the set pixel color at something. They change that to blue. Okay. But the thing here is I don't want it to go from, um, i put a pause into and I forget. I don't want it to start at zero and go to nine again, because if I do, um, you know, it starts there and it's going to go through. So oh, also I need to put another index in here. So let's do, well, let's actually not do that. I don't want it to start there. I want it to start over here. So uh, what I need to do is I'm going to have to use a different expression right here. And that's going to require some math, literally, uh, actually some subtraction. So what I want to do is set the pixel at 9 minus whatever index is. So, oops, my you in there. We're going to set that to blue. So the idea is now that on our first time through, when the index is equal to 0, 9 minus 0 is 9. That's going to be this one. It'll turn to blue. So let's see if that's the case. Look at that. Cool. So if I press A again, you know, the same thing's going to happen. Nothing changes. So now what I want to do is have these both happen when I press A one after another. And what does that mean? Well, I'm going to need some logic in here. And it's going to be an if else statement. So going forward, I'm sorry, that's going to go in the else portion. That's going to happen second. And this one's going to end up happening first. So first time through, this will turn red. Second time through, it's all going to go through nine. But I need some sort of condition on which that'll happen. So when this starts up, I'm going to want a condition of, let's see here, set something set a new variable that I already have here called forward. So I'm going to have a variable called, variable called forward, and I want to set its initial value to true. OK. So now, um, when I press button A, if true, well, I don't want that to be true. I want it to be forward. So I'm going to grab my forward variable and plug it in right there. So if true, then we're going to go through and do the red thing. So let's click here and make sure that happens. It does. OK. If I press A again, nothing new changes because, again, forward is true. So what I need is for this to be not true when we're done. So I'll go down here to my logic and look for this not expression. I'll go to variables and get um, set a variable. So I'm going to set my variable forward to not something. To not what? Well, to not what it currently is. So not itself. So not forward. So let me put it in here. It's going to kick this out. And why don't I just do it like this? So now what happens is I'm going to press button A. And when it goes through and um, does it for the first time, if forward is true, then it's going to turn everything red in sequence. 
And then when that's done, because forward was true, it's going to skip else and come down here and then set forward to not forward, which makes it false. So the next time I press A, be up here at the top, if true, which is not the case now, forward is false. So it comes down here to else, and we're going to do the reverse, turning everything blue. So let's see if that actually ends up working. Turns red just like we expected it. Press A again. Blue in the opposite direction. Look at that. It's exactly what's supposed to happen. So um, that worked out really well, and we'll get